strong statement on the show, the NDTV Dialogues on Ending Poverty, respected business voice N.R. Narayanan Murthy has said he feels there's considerable fear in the minds of the minorities in India today and that this must be resolved for economic progress. Mr. Narayan Murthy is the first business voice to express his worry about intolerance, not just between religious communities, but also between people of different regions. I am not a politician. I am not interested in politics. Therefore, I don't want to comment on that. But the reality today is that there is considerable fear in the minds of minority in India. There is considerable fear in the minds of people of one region living in another region. For example, like we had in 67, where South Indians were treated very badly by Shiv Sena in Mumbai. Today there's a lot of that worry. I get lots of emails, I get a lot of people talking to me even though I stay at home because of my leg. So I would say, Sonia, the first priority of this government, or for that matter any government, both at the central level and the state level, to bring back the confidence, the energy, the enthusiasm, the trust in the minds of every Indian that this is our country, I have all the rights here, I am very safe and therefore I will work towards the betterment of India. I think that is the first requirement. I have studied lots of books, I have looked at lots of articles on internet and over the last 300 years data and facts tell me that no country has ever made speedy economic progress unless there is no strife, there is no distrust, there is no fear, the, unless the majority community you know, uh, does not oppress the minority community, does not want the minority community to do what it wants, etc., etc. And so it doesn't matter which government is in position. Yes, because of course this you're in Karnataka, and interestingly, there's a, in there's a Congress UPA. government in Karnataka and a BJP government at the center. So, you, so you're saying that you're facing the worst of both governments is your point. No, but, but the reality is it doesn't matter what happened. What happened to Mr. Kalburgi is yes. a great example. So I don't care whether it is UPA, NDA, Congress, BJP. I, I am not interested in politics. I have no interest in politics. Therefore, I am, I am not worried about what concoction of government is, is where. But the reality is we have to create an environment of peace, harmony, trust, enthusiasm, energy, etc. And then we can get to economic matter. Mm -hmm. Let me assure you that unless we sort that problem out, I don't think we will be able to bring back growth. I don't think we will be able to solve the problem of poverty. I don't think we will be able to eliminate the sad cases of poor farmers uh, committing suicide. For all of that, the first requirement for us is to create an environment of positivism, environment of confidence, I'm, environment I'm just, of I'm trust, going to let Mr. Sinha respond because of, I belong yes. to India. Because Mr. Sinha, of course, Mr. Narayan Murthy, there speaking a political voice, a very respected voice. But you had a former friend, a former BJP supporter, Prime Minister Narendra Modi supporter, Arun Shori, speak very strongly this week of how the NDA is the Congress government plus a cow. In fact, he even said that people are missing the days of Sri Manmohan Singh. Mr. Narayan Murthy said this so strongly and uh, again this discussion is on poverty so I, it was quite unexpected that he brought that up. If Mr. Narayan Murthy says this so strongly we can imagine what perhaps an average person is saying. No, I think Mr. Murthy is exactly right. I think all of us as citizens are concerned about law and order uh, but I think all citizens of India should be very reassured with what the Honorable Prime Minister has said Many senior leaders of the BJP and of the NDA have said, and obviously what Rashtrapati ji have said, which is that constitutional rights are going to be protected. They are non-negotiable and inviolable. We are sworn by oath to protect the constitution. So everybody has the freedom of expression, the freedom to travel where they want, the freedom to live where they want, the freedom to eat what they want. That is non-negotiable in our country. And if there is any violation of constitutional rights or these universal human rights, then the full force of the law has to be applied so that we protect that. And if there is a sense that people have that they are living in, a, in, a, in an atmosphere of intolerance, then it should not be because we are not fully and 100% in support of the constitution. 
it is because the law and order situation is not allowing people to express themselves freely or uh, uh, or do what they need to do to go about their lives so let's make this absolutely crystal clear i think the conversation can stop right there because there is no question that constitutional rights have to be fully protected by the full force of the law otherwise you know we shouldn't be in governance it's as simple as that and i think that's exactly what our party has said that's exactly what the prime minister has said that's exactly what uh, rashtrapati ji have said so that i think is absolutely crystal clear